Hey everybody, it's Briggs Hill here, and as you can see, we've got more World of Tanks. Now, I'm in the T-20 here, which is a tier 7 American medium tank. Uh, it's got a very decent weapon on it, it's a 90mm, so it does a little bit of damage, it does quite a good bit of penetration. Uh, it's quite a decently manoeuvrable vehicle, it's quite quick, it's not particularly well armoured, um, but in general it's a decent tank there's nothing really wrong with it the only thing that I can suggest that is the probably the weakness of it is its armor it, it, it will take hits quite a few hits before it gets killed but it'll also absorb quite a lot of damage so you've got to be quite careful with it in this particular video I don't I'm not particularly careful in it I'm quite reckless in some aspects of it and I move forward when people probably shouldn't move forward um, and maybe sit back and relax. I nearly drown here, actually to get quite nicely um, safely across here. And it's probably one of the first times I've actually played this map. I can't. I played this map before, but it was different. It was it was it was a, a different kind of map. It's been remodelled um, with some of these bits and pieces that were never there. Anyway, my job here is to try and flank around this uh, right-hand side of the map and see if we can pick off some people, which. Inevitably, we do because I won't be showing you if I didn't. So the first kind of session, uh, like thing we're going to see here is that I can't see anybody, even though my view is pretty good and my and the people in my uh, the, my crew in the vehicle are quite good. They're all 100%. They've all got at least one skill at about 60 or 70%, I believe. So they they are pretty decent crew. So it's not like they can't see anybody. Um. But in a second, I realised that they've actually held back a little bit on this right hand side. They've pushed quite far on the left, as you can see. The right hand side, they've been a bit less um, kind of offensive. They've been quite defensive here. And then I spot the Sherman on the on the right there, the M4 Sherman. That's obviously the tier 4 version. Sorry, the tier 5 version of the Sherman, which means that I can take it out pretty much in two hits. Which is exactly what I'm going to do, even though he gets a decent shot off of me there but because um, pretty much I am kind of in that mood here of trying to just get away and not take as many hits you know, he took 75 off me, I face up against a tier 20, T29 here, which is obviously a tier, a tier 7 heavy tank um, the front armor is quite difficult to penetrate, even with this gun. This gun's got, I think it's 160 millimeters worth of penetration on it. Uh, I don't think I really get a decent hit on this tank. I think I just, I'm really kind of focusing on just trying to stop from getting hit. Um, but I'm in a decent position here because on this side of the map, on this side of the map, we kind of, we've, we've not got much back backup, or the, the other team is not on much backup, the M6 comes in here and I it does a little bit of damage to me but I do quite a lot of damage to it, because obviously with its 870 points you sh you'd think he would be a bit more safely with that, because it's not, the M6 isn't a particularly well armoured vehicle it is if you're playing ag against tier 6s and tier 5s but when you're playing against tier 7s, like myself then you're going to die there you go, there's the M6 going down. The T29 has, has, has absorbed quite a lot of damage here, and although I thought that was a hit, it obviously didn't hit, it completely missed for some strange reason. I'm now going to move around, but by the time I move around it will have um, been destroyed by the Stug. Now, the next kind of point of call here is to try and flank around down the bottom here and see if I can get some... Um, get some shots off on some of these tanks, the KV-1S and the T-25-2 is, um, or, or slash 2 is going to be my focus point here because I can get a nice shot on his ass pretty much here but I'd get him on the turret instead which puts him down to 6 health my reload's not quick enough, My re the reload of the gun actually is quite slow as well so that's another downside for this T-20 tank but anyway get a nice little quick shot off there before he can do any damage and I'm going to move forward. Now the T25 slash 2 is my next tank um, that I'm going to want to destroy so 
I'm going to move over here and see what I can do. I think it's in those rocks over the, over the top of these train tracks, and I am correct. It is. There we go. Easy 8 SU-100 and a Hellcat are going to come my way. I'm going to take the Easy 8 out first, I think. Yep, first point of call, Easy 8 is down, probably th the thing that might have been able to do quite a lot of damage to me. The Hellcat is going to come up next, and it's going to be a bit silly here, it's going to come up and it's going to get shot and it's going to get killed by the T-34, Type T-34. The SU-100 here is going to be outmaneuvered by myself because I'm going to rush over, I'm going to get a nice little first shot off here, there we go. I'm going to try and tank any damage that I'm going to get. I'm going to move to the right hand side. I'm going to take a bit of um, friendly fire here. And I'm going to kill the SU-100. In a way, that was probably a little pathetic of me. Because I've obviously gone in front of of the tank to um, get the the kill, really. I, I was quite selfish there. And if I was even, if I was really quick about this, I'd have... I'd have moved quicker to get to this KV-1, but I realised the game was up, you know, two or three minutes ago when I ploughed through their defences. So, all in all, this has been a quite a good um, kind of battle, really. Six kills, top gun. Not too shabby, especially that I've never used the T-20 in, in, a, in, in a mass sense. Um, I've not used it quite a lot. I've only used it bits and pieces of it um, and it's a decent little tank Pr pretty pleased with that hope you enjoyed it see you next time